I've not read you a story for ages, have I? Mm. Eh? This will be a treat for me reading you a story. Mm. I'm sure she'd sooner have Carmel. Oh, well, would you now? Would you sooner have Carmel? Oh, you'd sooner have me, wouldn't you? I'd do a proper story, don't I? Eh? Does Carmel not give you a proper story? She makes it all up. No, oh, she makes it all up, does she? What I have read? Oh, well, I can't do that. I've not got the head for it, have I? I'm sorry. Eh? I like the proper story. You so you should, because you're a good girl. I'm saying nothing. Isn't it nice having the place to us, so... You what? I want to get this box to bed. It'll be even nicer. Is that a promise? Yeah, it's the way it is. Do you want this story or what? Oh, look at this. Christmas has come early this year, hasn't it? Oh, great. Look what I've got. Mm. Even one colour. That's smashing. <laughs> I tried them against a boy your size in the shop. I hope they fit. They seemed OK. Yeah, Bobby does look, then. <laughs> Aren't they? Let's have a look. Can you manage that? Mm, yeah. Here. Here, like remember this. remember the days. Yeah. There. Now, this is a very special so nurse's cool watch from one. Ireland. See? <laughs> and you pin it on here like this, and then you hold it like that to examine a patient, that's right. Oh. And what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Carmel. That's a pleasure. I'd have got the two of you something, only I didn't have enough time. Oh, don't worry yourself, Carmel. We're spoiled enough as it is. <laughs> you got a ship? I did, yeah. Great big one, it was too. It's ever so exciting when you go across the sea. And uh, how did the rest of the weekend go? Mm, I'll tell you about that later, Gail. Best not Carmel. to spoil their fun at the moment, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, let me see. It's six o'clock. Time for... What are you doing? I'll mm -hmm. kill you. Lots Funny faces I'll like I always do for our Liam and for Dalma when I'm Nikki, anymore. have you seen this week's yes, gazette? Sir. I told you distinctly not to touch it. Why do I always get the blame when things go missing? Oh, you look at the magazine like when it should be. It never is, though, is it? Oh. <laughs> it's a flat share, I noticed. Sounds like it's nice. Uh, two girls looking for third. Non-smoker. Nice quiet room overlooking mm. garden. Sure, give it some thought and a place of my own would be better after all. Hey, look what Carmel's drawn you. A silly face. For a silly face. <laughs> but I like on you it. You pretty stupid with that one, wouldn't you? Hey, you'd have bold eyes. Well, must be worth a look at least, eh? I, I'll make a note of this. Thanks, Gay. Never mind with your kid stuff. This is a special lucky leprechaun for this afternoon. What's this afternoon? School football match, told you. You must have told Carmel, love. You didn't tell me. I did. It's good. Well, um, I'll just leave it here, eh? Just in case. <laughs> have they been good? Uh, They're always good. Oh. Ah, I've got this at school. Let's have a look. Oh! There's the boat. Yeah. There's the octopus. And there's all of the Very kids. good. We'll go to the seaside soon as summer comes. And we paddle and build sand castles, but no octopuses. They're horrible things. So, Louise, would you be a good girl? Just run upstairs, love, and get that magazine off my dressing table. I promised it to your mum. There you go. Look, I just want to get one thing clear. All this stuff you've been hinting at about Martin and Gail. What stuff? Saying they're having problems. Sally, I never said any such thing. Well, that's not how I remember it. And as far as I'm concerned, Carmel, they're one of the happiest couples that I know. Sally, I love them both, and I'd never say a word against them. I don't know why you're twisting everything. It's you that's twisting things, Carmel. Martin is Gail's husband. Trent, do you think I don't know that? What are you saying, that, that I'm in the way? Yeah. I think they'd be better off on their own. Well, I think you're being very cruel. You're just trying to make trouble for me, and I don't know why. I've never done anything to you. Come on, little loves. We're going home. Oh, come on. I want, I want a dolly what don't cry. Do your dollies cry then? It always wakes me up at night. Oh, I think we could do something about that, don't you? Me make the dolls. No, no, I have elves to do that for me. Is that Mrs. Bishop? Well, Mrs. Bishop's one of them. Now look, here's something uh, to put under your tree, you see, to being a good girl. Eh? And look, this is it too. You put that there, and that says, I've seen Father Christmas at Crazy Cuts. No, they're not both mine. <coughs> Sarah's is from a previous marriage. She's a bit of a handful, but she's very sweet. No, this little fella just got out of bed the wrong side. You got to smile for your mummy. Oh, yeah.
What's going on? Shh. Hang on a minute. Where's Gail? It's just Sarah Louise wants her breakfast. It's all right. I'll see to her. Hey! Are you afraid of that woman? Maybe not. Where's Gail? Come on, where's Gail? I'll tell you later. You just get back into bed and I'll bring you up a cup of coffee. Yeah, you get over there. Hey, puppy. Look here, you go and watch TV and I'll make you breakfast in a minute, OK? Yes, Mama. Um, well, I'll tell you when I come down. All right. Come on, come here. Where's Gail, eh? It's all very simple. Alf was taken poorly, so she spent the night with her mother. <laughs> now, why don't you get back into bed and let me see to the children? Yeah. You come and get your breakfast. Watch and tell it. We'll switch it off and come and get it. Watching something. Look! What you do as I tell you, hey? Your breath's horrible, it stinks. Come on, get your breakfast. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Did you have a good time last night, Martin? He's got a hangover. His breath smells. Did you ever see a face on him like that? Old Mr. Grumpy Guts, what is he? Old Mr. Grumpy Guts. Now then, who's for coffee? I think Mark will be having his black, don't you? Come on. Just what do you think we're up to, hey? I hope you're not always going to be like this in the morning. Hello! Hello, Hello darling! Hi, everybody! Hello, Hello sweetheart! Oh, How's Alf? Oh, oh, it's a lot better. Oh. I'm sorry about last night. I don't know what I've done without you. Yeah. Oh, that's very kind. There's no need, really. And what sort of a state was he in last night? Oh, well, I was in bed when he got in, wasn't I? <laughs> well, you two get off to college. I'll see to the kids. Coming, Martin? Uh, no, no, I'll be in later. What shall I say? Well, just tell him I'll be in later, OK? Oh, take the notice of him. He's always like that when he's had too much to drink. <laughs> that's all right. I'm thick-skinned. I'll see you later, Martin. Bye, everyone. <sighs> all right, do you miss me? Oh, God. Think you better go back to bed. Right, here we go. Okay, now. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Now then, anyone want to carve this fella, Alf? No, no, I'll leave it to the next one, Alf. All yours, kid. Uh, I know, just you only ask the gentleman if I can carve. Oh, here we go. You then. don't think that I could carve a turkey, but I think oh. I'll carve well, Come on, look, it's all yours. Do you think I'm a mug or what? I spent enough time stuffing it and cooking it. <laughs> I think she's trying to lumber you, Audrey. Oh, no, Tom. I'll all right, well, no complaining then, because I don't so much carve as demolish. Eh? I am to turkeys what Fred Dibner is to a factory chimneys. But here we go. And you can wear your nice new jumpers that your Granny Ivy gave you. Good day. I'm not coming. Suit yourself. It's his own fault if he wants to miss out on a treat, isn't it, Sarah Louise? Yeah. Where are we going anyway? It's a secret. It's a magical mystery tour. Will there be any grub? Would there be a bouncy castle? All right, all right, I'll give you a clue. Uh, this isn't for you, Nikki, you're too big. It has something to do with T-O-Y-S. Time. Yes, yeah, that's all you're getting to know for now. So, do we have the honour of your company, Master Nicholas? All right. Does Martin know where we go? Of course he does. Who do you think's taking us? My father. <laughs> ah! I wish you could come with us, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd worry about um, leaving Alma on Oh, own. hey, it's the customers I'm worried about. Mike's probably thrown that much booze down her. She won't know her uh, fried onions from her cream buns. <laughs> well, I don't know why you're even discussing it. I've told you. I'm not going. Hey, I don't mind, don't I? And the kids are looking forward to it, aren't you? Yay! Yeah. Well, you've no business promising to take them anywhere, Carmel, without asking me first. Yeah, you're right. I just got carried away with wanting to give them a treat. What would you all give me such a lovely Christmas when I landed on you the way I did? I'm sorry, Gail, I didn't mean any harm. No, it's all right, Carmel. Take the notice of him. He's just in one of his moods. I don't know why you're making such a fuss about. Anyway, you can't disappoint him now. Ah, don't they look a picture? Oh, 
Do you think it'd be all right if I took a photo of the kids with the fat Oh, how surely it would. Why don't you go with them? George will take it for you. Oh, that's very oh, kind. It'd be a pleasure. You. It's just there. Yeah. Right. Come on, Matt. No, no, leave me out of this. Just take the kids, eh? Oh, no. You must have Daddy in. Go on. Come on. Okay. Now, then. Are all set? Cheese! Cheese! Cheese. <laughs> there we Thank are. You. Thank you very much. Oh, right. so, you've a lovely family. You and your husband must be very proud of them. We are. <laughs> now, they've got some very nice things here. I hope you have a lovely day. You certainly will. Right, come on. Let's go and choose what you want. One thing each. Anything up to five pounds. <laughs> come on. You can't afford that. You know, you sound like they've got more than enough already. It's to thank them for being so lovely to me at Christmas. Oh. Everybody has. Especially you. <laughs> Uh, Nicky, will you take David to play with them aeroplanes over there, them he likes, and uh, will you take Sarah Louise with you? And don't break anything. All right. <laughs> See you in five minutes. Look, Carol, I think it's about time we put an end to this fantasy of yours once and for all. You're not being fair to Gail, you know. You are? You've not told her about the other night, have you? Of course I've played it on it. I realise it's painful, Martin, but she'll have to know about her sooner or later. For the last time, Carmel. There is no us, right? I'm not your husband. They aren't your kids. There's nothing going on. If you get that into your head. These things are never easy. But the quicker you get it over with, the better for everybody. What do you mean, everybody. these things? There are no things. You know, are you completely balmy or what? Only about you. <sighs> You're the kindest, most decent man I've ever known. When I first came here, not knowing a single soul, I used to cry myself to sleep every night. Then I met you and everything changed. I was being friendly, so, you know, people can be nice to other people, you know, without it meaning they're madly in love with I them. know that. Oh, good. But there was a spark lit the moment we set eyes on each other, and you know that too in your heart. Martin, when you come in... I'll be with you in a minute, Nicky, OK. Let's <clears throat> go. Uh, what have you done with David? Do you, sir. Well, I thought I told you to look after him. Oh. Well, go on. Go on. Look, come on. I'll give you one last chance, OK? Right? Now, if you move out of the house first thing tomorrow, I'm going to go to that course tutor and I'm going to tell her what's going on. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to write to your mum and dad and tell them if needs be. No, there's no need for that. There's every need, Carmel, if you don't stop this flaming nonsense. Hey, come on, we're off. Aww. Oh, no buts. Come on, we're off. Oh, cool. What? Tomorrow. All right? Keep us going till I can get out and do a proper shot. Okay. I'll come here with that. I'll be... As long as somebody does fight, come on. See you. Bye. 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 And remember, there's um, um, a pile of washing the machine. What's putting into the drop? It will. Mm. Bye. 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 Look, uh, we said you were going to find someone else, didn't we? And yeah. so I am. I, it's all right, Martin. I know we can't carry on as well. So what are you going to do then? You're going to go back to London. Oh, listen, do you know always. what happened this morning? Sarah Louise wakes up and she says, I was dreaming I was a nurse, like you and Martin. And we all went to do an operation on Nicky, but he screamed and screamed and wouldn't lie still. Till in the end we said, I'll go on with you. We'll operate in someone so else. So what's going to be, Carmel? The bed sits up the nurse is on. Ooh. Which do you think is best? I don't know. You tell me. Well, the nurse's home, I mean, everybody knows your business. You've got no privacy. So it's the bed sitter then, right? OK. W where are you going? Just wait there. Be sure and brush your teeth up here, you. And wash your hands as well, right? Right, here we go. Sit down. I was just going to see you to David. All right, I'll see you, David. Where are we? Ah, here we go. Rental accommodation, yeah? Yeah. Right, well, there you go. Must be about 20 there, Carmel. So what I'll do is I'll leave you that. The phone's over there. I'll see you at the kids and I'll take them out so you'll have no distractions and you can concentrate on finding yourself a bedsitter. OK? Yeah. Good. Uh, I'm putting you to a lot of trouble, aren't Oh, no, 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 Carmel. You find yourself somewhere to live and we'll get you moved in and then... Well, then there'll be no more trouble for anybody, will there? Anybody upstairs? Somewhere there's a Can I go upstairs? Not yet. Not yet. She's unavailable, Martin. You heard what she said. I heard it, yeah. You surely don't think she's lying. Why I'm would she do that? I'm not saying she is lying. She's so miserable about it, then. 
We don't want caramel finger. We want bacon. Oh, oh. Here comes Grandma. Can we get her a bed sit or something? <laughs> Maybe in the answer to everybody's. Hi, Doc. Hi, Hi, Martin. Yeah, all right, Doc. Find yourself. Ah, no complaints, mate. Just call to uh, Sarah. Oh, by the way, Carmel, you know you said you were having no joy looking for a flat. Oh, my bad, Sarah. That's all I'm about. Yeah, bad, Sarah. Only he's a mate of mine on cabs, and he's got a couple, so I rang him, and uh, well, there's one going begging if you want it. Oh, thanks. Right, look, that's the address and the telephone number. Right. Uh, actually, there'll be somebody there now if you want to try. Oh, well, thanks very much. Uh, do you mind if I use the phone? Uh, Carmel, help yourself. Tell him it was me, give you a number. Don Brennan. Hey, Don's brilliant. Well, I heard it. I had a morning in shop. I thought the only reason you can't find anyone is because you're not looking. What you need, lady, is a gentle kick up the backside. Hey, I know you want to yeah. Yeah, great! Oh, that's good. Let's get you up to the Oh, good, Sam. Oh, good, Daddy. Good night. Is he going, eh? Good night, everybody. Can I go with you? a long time since I've seen him in bed. And it's going to be your bedtime as well in a minute, young lady. I have a story. Well, yes, you can. If I hate, I tell you what, wait for your grand to come down. She'll read you one. Yeah, go on. You, you go choose her one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, uh... You didn't say how to go, did you? Well, you know, what you're talking about. Well, not really, no. Well, I mean, I'm not saying she wouldn't believe me, though. There's no point risking it. No, no. No, oh, no, there isn't. Not if you don't have to. Look, with any luck, Cam will get this bedsitter and that'll be the last we'll see of her. Uh, to get through, love? Yeah, I'm going round to see it on Friday. They promised they'd keep it for me till then. Well, if they promise, they will, love. You've got no worries on that score. Well, uh, thanks for all your help. Ah, it's a pleasure, love. So, beer done? All right.